now you can bring the uh the other cat on. All right, Killer, you want to unmute? Let us know what's your name, where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah, this is Killer. I'm from Brooklyn. All right, what's up, Killer from Brooklyn? So I, I seen the title, you know, stay away from white women. Right. Reason. So this is in regard to the brother, right? The actor? Yes. Yeah, so I, I see a lot of um, people tripping on social media about this white chick railroading his brother. But my, my attitude, my attitude is 99% of the women that accuse, falsely accuse a brother and put them in jail is a sister. So Which, why, why make a big deal over that 1%? Can you explain that? Majority of the women that put a brother no, in prison. Statement. No, no, I got your statement. I want you to explain it, though. What you mean? You explain what? Meaning, like, give me the 99% of women. Because, like, the 99% of the women mm -hmm. that put a brother in prison mm -hmm. falsely mm -hmm. is a sister. That's what I'm saying. Prove that. That's what I'm asking you. I'm asking you to prove this, that. Uh, the, the FBI stats, man. Yo, can FBI you pull it? So you want to say go? You can go get it. Bro, no, 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 no. I didn't okay, make it. Okay, okay. What, what, watch this. Watch this. Watch it. I'm going to flip it on you. Okay, flip you it tell on. me what's the percentage of white women versus black women railroading a brother, putting him in prison? I think every white woman railroads a black man, me person, or weakens him. Like no, you, 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 you not understanding what I'm saying. I'm talking about in you prison. Gotta let, you got to let me finish so you can understand what I'm saying. You agree to that, right? Yeah, I agree. Yes. I appreciate it. So when I'm making a statement about this, whether you go to jail or not, a, uh, a heathen woman weakens you. Because you don't have to go to jail to be weakened. Look at Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods married the damn maid. And now she got half his money. That weakens him. Kobe Bryant slept with a damn white woman in a hotel. She accused him of rape. And she had like three different semen in her. You don't have to go to jail to be weakened. Like our position as Israelites, I don't know if you know that we subscribe to being Israelites. You shouldn't sleep with no heathens. And the Bible tells you, if I was to read the Bible, it don't got nothing to do with prison. Prison is one of the things that they could do. But when what the Bible says that, I'm, I'm going to read it for you. I don't know if you believe in the Bible or not, but I'm going to read it. This is 1 Ezra 8 and 84. It says, therefore now shall ye not join your daughters unto their sons, neither shall you take their daughters unto your sons. Verse 85. Moreover, ye shall never seek to have peace with them that ye may be strong. Even with this, like this whole thing with this white woman, do you think, let me ask you, so now I'm going to ask you a question. Do you think the white woman railroaded him? Absolutely. How did she railroad him? She, she set him up. Right. Falsely accused him. Right. To get that money. Hey, are you, are you watching, you on the screen, so like you can see my screen, right? Yeah. Can you play that? I want you to watch this clip. Can you play that clip? I want you to play that clip when uh, Homeboy was... I'm going to play a clip. I just want you to watch this clip. Just watch this clip. Come on, up. Huh? Trying to make it bigger. Hey, did y'all see that video footage of that white woman? Look at the top part. Don't, everybody don't look at my handsome face. Uh, the the up. In that video, he looked like he running from her like he's still training for the Rocky movie. He looked like all he did was get that phone and now she chasing him to no end. I mean, chased him around the corner. But black men, y'all still want to learn. Y'all find a reason to go ahead and chase that snow bunny, white bunny, devil, whatever you want to call it. Leave the white woman alone. She's just as diabolical. Okay, you can pause. Everybody hey, you see the video right up top where the kid, the white woman chasing him, right? Yeah. yeah. So I would agree with you that she, as a matter of fact, if you follow the case, who called the police? It was the it was the, um was it, the, it was the brother, right? Right, the brother called the police. So when you say she railroaded him, we really got to analyze that. And I'm actually glad you came on the show because that's what I wanted to talk about. Now, he called the police because, of course, in his mind, she attacked him trying to get his phone. He gets the phone. And to avoid a confrontation, he runs away from her. She chases him. Then, of course, she cries the white woman's tears. And so when you say railroad, I don't really look at it railroad. I just think that he thought that 
America would be on his side assaulting a white woman. Based on the evidence, do you think he did anything to her? No. So who do you who railroaded him? The system and, and, and the white chick. Okay, right. And and now I'm definitely not defending the white woman, but I want the, the message that I want to be made clear is that you can never make a black man could never make a white woman cry and not pay for it. All right, but let me let me interject. Let me interject. Yes, please. Come on. Whenever, whenever you got like on average, when you have these domestic um disturbances and it's it, and it's a black couple, you know how it go down, right? When it depends because whoever call whoever calls the cops first, somebody gotta go to jail. That's what domestic violence, you know. Okay, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is let's say there's some physical abuse involved and and, and and it's a fight between both of them. Like mm -hmm. we don't know who's wrong, we don't know who's right. On average, who the cops taking in? Okay, but now I I would say more than more times than not. Um, if I look at uh, what are the statistics of domestic violence? I'm trying to narrow it down to race, but it says over one in three women, one in four men. So. It's, it's a slight edge. It, it would be more men, more black men, I would say, go to jail okay. uh, than black women. So, so would you agree right. with me that, wait a second, would you agree with me that when it comes to black men and black women, the system is on the side or tends to be on the side of sisters? Here's what I'm going to say. But you know, no, I need you to answer that question. I am going to answer it. I'm going to answer the question. So what I would say is that this system overall is against black men. It doesn't have to be a black woman. And what I want you to avoid is mental white supremacy. And what I mean, and what I mean by that is as we're having a room where I'm trying to condemn a brother for sleeping with a white woman, you want me to somehow find a way to condemn a black woman. When you know what's interesting about that case? It's a black woman that joined him in his era, and to my uh, to my knowledge, is still with him in that era. So even if we look at that case, the worst mistake he ever made was joining, excuse me, getting with a white woman. He goes to jail. Then he said he gets his nigga wake up call and says, "I'm gonna get with a black woman." And then he gets a black woman, and the black woman is standing with him. So why would you take the opportunity? To bash a, 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 a white, excuse me, a sister when the sister's not on a chopping block. Let me chop the, why can't I chop the, like you damn near like, J what's, this, what's this guy's name? Jonathan Majors. You, you like Jonathan Majors light. Like I damn near want to ask you what black women, what black women hurt you so much where I can't condemn black men for betraying the black woman dealing with a white woman. Like, why are you on here to try to bash? Uh, this ain't the day. I, I, I'm just trying to understand why is this the day that you want to bash black women when this ain't about blasting black. Excuse me, bash. Let, 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 let me respond. Let me respond. Yeah, so when yeah. I first came in, when I first came into the show, right, I said that that the title caught my attention because I noticed on social media there's a big storm, right, regarding this situation, and I'm saying to myself, what's the number, the percentage? of white women dealing with black men, that's one, and two, white women railroading black men, compared to the number of you know, black women that railroad black men using the system that we don't hear about, that is much more of, a, 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 um, uh, uh, it's more of an effect on black men. Be cut now. You, you, do you follow the Bible at all? Yeah, yeah, I do. You know, there's a scripture, Colossians four and six, right? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just read this uh, scripture. Um, I'm gonna read two scriptures. Colossians four and six says, um, "Let your speech always, excuse me, let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer every man." Right? And then I'm gonna read Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. It says, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. The reason why I call you 
say you're a victim of mental white supremacy is because, you know, Israelites is known for, you know, checking a black woman, putting her in a place and X, Y, Z. But in no way do we absolve the black man for his error. So the stats that you pulling out, like saying, like, the black woman does this and the black woman does this. I, first of all, you haven't given me a stat. You said 99 percent. That's a high ass number, first of all. But you still haven't. Um, uh, I told you FBI.gov. I told you FBI. You could, easily, you could easily share your screen. You could easily come on the screen and then present your information that way. You can put the link in the chat. I didn't come. I didn't come. I didn't come. I didn't come. When I called the show, I didn't. I didn't bring links or sources because I, I I did the research already. So you right, so you you got to do that. It's not, it's not, well, if this if if, I'm not in a debate with you right now. We just having a conversation. I, don't, I I never say we was in a debate. I just think you suffer from white supremacy. Like what you're doing is that's not my opinion. What you're doing is I'm about to tell you. Me. I'm, you, I'm, you, I'm you, telling you exactly, you, but you, I don't have to know you. This room, this the title of this room is not about a black woman. But you came on here to talk about a black woman, which is no different than when a white cop or a white man harms, shoots or does something to a black man. And we do a show about that. It's always some sellout, simple Simon ass. I just want to finish. I just want to finish. I just want to make you. you I want to make you. I want to make you. I ain't no, got no, no, that no. situation, right? So I want to make sure my shit ain't off. Like, I just want to show you something. When a black man gets shot, killed, harmed, or whatever by a white man, whether he's a cop or not, and we talk about what that white man did, you know what white supremacists and black sellouts do? They say black people shoot each other all the time. That ain't what we're talking about today, though. What we're talking about today is this brother dealing with a white woman that he said on record that he want the white woman to act like Coretta Scott King and what's what's Obama's wife's name? Michelle Obama. And Michelle Obama got convicted for dealing with the white woman. He would have kept and listen, this brother, this brother was about to be the new Thanos. Just think about how weak he became. That's why I read the scripture. I read the scripture because this brother was about to be the next Thanos. He's about to be the next me. <laughs> Headshot. He, like that brother was set up with Marvel. He was set up everywhere, but he didn't understand the greatest thing. Your loyalty is to your own. And he went and got with the great snow bunny and he's reaping the benefits and the white supremacist killer on the line wants to talk about the black woman. The black woman didn't get him arrested. The black woman didn't chase him down the street. The black woman didn't lie on him. The black woman ain't the reason why he's in jail right now. A black woman is supporting him. How do you take this opportunity to bring up what a black woman did? You are a white supremacist. Now, my question before I give you the floor, when a white man kills or harms a black man and we talk about it, does the white man say black people kill each other too? Yes or no? No, but but that's not my point, man. You, okay, let, I got one more. I got one more question. You ain't, you ain't let me say. Well, got, wait, 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 wait. I just got one more. I just got one more question. Just one more question. What's five plus five, brother? Ten. Thank you. Headshot. Headshot. Your next call. Let me tell you, and I'm gonna tell you. That's why. And let me tell you, all of this here. What that brother suffers from is white supremacy. And I, I'm, I'm going to make sure. Cross the line radio.